Good morning, or afternoon, good evening, as Truman would say. <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> um, before I start working on myself, this my face this morning, there is uh, something I want to read to you. It seems that Johnny Depp has been keeping something from us, <laughs> um, and perhaps this was the other bit of filming that uh, was being talked about before on the law, in the Law and Order interview, um, but it seems that last year Johnny Depp um, filmed a trailer for a game called Sea of Dawn, and I'm just going to get right into this article with you and then I'll be right back. Johnny Depp pops up in cinematic trailer for Sea of Dawn video game. This is from an article in the Variety. Let's read this together. Johnny Depp is a weird, wizen, fez-wearing shopkeeper in the promotional launch trailer for Sea of Dawn the new massively multiplayer online game from Chinese gaming company Chang Yu. In the four and a half minute cinematic trailer, the actor best known for his turn as Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean plays Philip the shopkeeper, affecting a seafaring lilt. <clears throat> his character confronts a hapless bill collector whom he regales with yarns about bygone adventuring days on the ocean blue. whom he regales with yarns about bygone adventuring days on the ocean blue. Does that choke anybody else up? <laughs> I wonder if that is, um, <clears throat> I wonder if it's, uh, if that was his goodbye to Captain Jack Sparrow. Off to distract his visitor from the task at hand. I've had me adventures, Depp shopkeeper says before slyly ushering the bill collector out the door with the parting words, I see your journey awaits you out there on the tides. You be brave, be bold, and eat a proper breakfast in the morning. The short film was released to promote the launch of Chang Yu Sea of Dawn multiplayer role-playing game. See, set in the 16th century amid the age of exploration, the nautical themed game uses Epic Games' Unreal Engine to digitally replicate uncharted coastlines and other landscapes as players take on rival vessels, trade with other merchants, <clears throat> and delve into distant cultures, mysteries, and mythologies. The game is launched first in China on mobile and PC platforms, with a rollout in the U.S. and Europe slated for later this year. The Sea of Dawn trailer was created by LA-based entertainment agency Buddha Jones, and I don't know this, Kurt Quarosity Productions, David Gill. According to producers, Depp was closely involved in creating the shopkeeper character for the trailer. I totally believe that. Which was filmed last year in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Depp, in a behind-the-scenes clip released by Chang Hu, says the shopkeeper character was inspired by a watercoloring painting he did. Oh, wow. If there's an opportunity for humor, I'm going to grab it, the actor says. I want to watch a character who has the proper spot to do things I would never do. I'll put the link to this article so that you guys can go and watch the trailer, unless you really just want me to play it here. But that would just make the video longer. <laughs> Depp's appearance in the Sea of Dawn trailer comes after a harrowing two-month trial in his defamation suit. Da 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 da. Not, not. Yeah, okay. We know about all that. We don't want to talk about her. So <clears throat> now, back to me. Okay, isn't that interesting? I got so choked up when I was reading about 
see him talking about he's, he's had his seafaring days. I can't help but think that it was uh, and maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. That maybe it was uh, a goodbye to Jack Sparrow. Maybe because he did want a, a goodbye to that character that he never got. And possibly that was his way of doing that and bringing closure to that chapter. It's really clever if that's, what it, if that's what he did. It's really clever. It was smart. And it actually does bring closure, you know, sadly. But we all know that, you know, that character is he's done with, I mean, yeah. Anyway, I'm not a gamer. Um, so this would definitely not have been on my radar. But, uh, <clears throat> I, I might have to check it out. <laughs> I mean, it's brilliant bringing Johnny Depp on to do this trailer because they're going to get probably a lot of uh, players just from that. Again, I'm not a gamer, so this may already be a popular game um, that I'm unaware of. <laughs> um, or it sounds like actually from the article that it's a, a brand new game. Um, so, I don't know, it's, it's worth keeping an eye on Sea of Dawn. really interesting um and so the tour with Jeff Beck is officially over and now he's back to filming uh King Louis the 15th if he's filming anything else in the process I'm not aware um like I said Law and Crime Network I talked about this a few videos back I think did an interview um, where they were, the, the, the lady they were interviewing, I can't ever remember her name, but she was talking about that he's doing another film that she wasn't at liberty to speak about yet, and it, I'm wondering if it was this, the, the trailer, because she did say it was big, um, and I'm wondering if she was talking about the trailer for this game, um, but yeah, so, so he's back to doing his films, and, um, back to being doing what he does. Uh, let's see. We um, are not going to talk about the appeals because I think that's been talked about a lot and you know, I, I think there's been some confusion in there as to how um, what, it, what it means. And One thing I do know um, is that They've got three months uh, to come up with the reason for their appeal. They have to come up with a legal, why are they appealing? Um, to me, I would think Johnny has the easiest reason. I mean, I know he appealed because she appealed. But, I mean, it doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem right to think that his, something that his attorney put out on social media would be speaking for him if Johnny didn't ask him to do it. I would think all Adam Waldman would have to do is come out and say my client didn't ask me to make those statements and that he had nothing. I mean, anybody that knows how Johnny Depp is with social media knows that um, other people control his social media pages. I'm thinking Miss Duders does the majority of it, and, um, he, I can't see him having, asking Adam Waldman to make statements for him, um, Johnny Depp is from another time, <laughs> and I think he's from another time, I think he was born too late. If that makes sense, I think he should have been born in an earlier, earlier time when there were gentlemen and, you know, before technology. 
same with me. It's so funny because I so remember, I so remember driving down the road one day, and this was when cell phones were huge, and car phones and all that stuff. My Saturday Johnny Depp one. Um, now I remember saying this. It's like one of those things that, for somehow, for some reason, your brain takes a picture of these. One of these moments that, that I, I remember. And I, I was like, I, mean, I don't care. I never want a cell phone. I never want to be that accessible. And then, um, even when I first started my daycare, at the most I had was like one of the first flip phones. Yeah, and this was six years ago. Um, and then, I think the reason I got a more modern phone, you know, the, the decent phone, cell phone, was because of my daycare. I needed to do a lot more with it, you know. I needed to be accessible. Now, it's hard to imagine being able to run my life without all of this technology. I mean, how... When I think back to days before before it, when I, we would... My family and I would sit outside with the neighbors and stuff... You know, and we'd play outside with our cousins and walk to friends' houses and come home when the porch lights came on. When I, just, just trying to get up under my chair again. <laughs> so I'm trying not to get flipped over. Um, such peace comes over me when I think about those times in my life. And now, yes, today things are more hectic. Everything's about technology latest and the best and how can we keep in touch with everybody the easiest way the fastest way it just almost seems like it's it's made so that you almost don't have a choice you know uh slobber (laughs) she's licking my hand i'm getting ready to touch up my face okay i got off track Sorry about that, guys. How much, uh, I'm not eight minutes in. Okay. Um, I'm doing recording this a little bit different. I'm actually using the video program to record this video, so I hope it comes out all right. Um, you guys, I am not, my face, as you can see, the acne medicine that my doctor gave me is working. And I am not wanting to. Um, I'm not, I don't feel like caking my face up with foundation today. I'm going to do my eye makeup, um, just a bit, um, and I'm going to do my lips. And I I think I'm going to leave all this alone, because I'm really liking the fact that I'm starting to look like me again, (laughs) and I'm a teenager. Um, (laughs) so... Let me start by doing my lip scrubber. Hard to talk when I'm doing this part. Alright. Okay. I always forget to bring something with me to to uh Alright. While I'm doing this, there are, there are, you know, some things I want to talk about. This, this lipstick is so dark, I really, I hesitate using it. I kind of do it lightly. My fishy face, the kids love this face. Okay, I'll do it for you guys. This is my fishy face. I do like this. I cross my eyes. (laughs) The kids love it. (laughs) Anyways. I'm gonna not like watching the replay of this.
claws. I'm not wanting to spend a whole hell of a lot of time on this video today because I really want to spend mega amount of time on my writing today. I'm working I do my gloss and then I drink my tea. I'm so I'm such a such a geek. A dork, whatever. Anyway. Um, I grew up in the 80s, I can say that. <laughs> Let's see, now I gotta take my glasses off. Uh, believe it or not, yep, it's, it's getting close to time for me to have to get another prescription. My eyes are going downhill fast. And it sucks. Um, okay, don't know what I was saying a while ago. But, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> growling for a reason, I'm strolling Twitter one day, and I come across, and I come across this post about a Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Uh, and I was livid. If you know me, then you know my affection for Winnie the Pooh. I collect Winnie the Poohs. I have them all over my house. Um, the kids play, let you hear, the kids play with them. Um, He, he or, or she, uh, I don't know, um, is on my home screen of my phone. It is my phone's wallpaper. No, believe it or not, Johnny Depp is not my phone's wallpaper. Um, and my ringtone is Winnie the Pooh theme song because the kids love it when my phone rings. Tell me like my stream on your phone's ringing, and I'm like I don't care, <laughs> and I really don't. <laughs> um, I really don't answer my phone during uh, daycare hours. Um, I tell people text me. I'm not a I'm not a talk on the phone person at all, honestly. Text me. I'm a texter. I don't know if that's part of my anxiety or what. Let's see. Um, so, yeah, so, so this director, and I can't remember his name at all. I will look him up and flash his name on the screen here. But I looked him up, and he is literally, he's nobody. I mean, I, I never heard of him. He's got like three or four movies to his credit all horror movies and I looked at his Instagram and apparently he did receive a lot of backlash from Winnie the Pooh supporters you know people that love Winnie the Pooh you know you can't turn Winnie the Pooh into Jason anyways he's not a and normally I wouldn't criticize a new director or a small director because I'm a small author, you know. I've got literally a handful of readers, just like I have a, you know, handful of subscribers here on YouTube. You know, ain't like I'm famous or nothing. I mean, one of my books did make it into my local library, so I guess that's something. But it doesn't mean I'm famous or anything like that. Not even close. If I was, I wouldn't be struggling and whatnot. But, anywho. So I looked this guy up, and on his, I looked up his Instagram. And he left a comment 
where he was basically saying that people were just overreacting because it was meant to be, you know, a, a horror movie for people that like horror movies. I guess he did it as kind of a joke. I don't know. I don't know. That was the impression I got, but it, it did not receive well. Of course, people that are into horror movies and don't really care for Winnie the Pooh or, or you know, loving it, the, you know, the whole idea of it. And, <clears throat> but I was livid. I, I can't even lie, y'all. I was completely... My, my eyelashes are really long. I don't think you guys can tell that on the video, but um, they touched... <laughs> they touch my glasses and it's annoying and so I have to pull them down a little bit which kind of messes with my kind of messes up my line of sight so sorry I don't need this anymore okay um get that out of the way bring my tea over If you haven't, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to really help him advertise this thing. Um, so that's about all I'm going to say about it. You can go look it up if you want to. Um, yeah. Anyways, there, there is something else that I wanted to talk about. It's kind of, it's off topic of what the stuff I usually talk about on Saturday. I don't know how you feel about this. Um, so please don't nobody come at me. <laughs> I don't even know how I feel about it, honestly. Um, doesn't seem like a bad idea. How do you guys feel about prepping? Um, I've been watching these videos. Some very intelligent people that have homesteads and things like that and um they're preppers or I don't think they really consider themselves to be preppers even though they're prepping you know doing their canning and giving a lot of really good tips and advice now when we ha two years ago my sister and I both started stocking up um and at one time I had my whole hall closet and my pantry full. Well, we've since used those things for the most part. I think I've got maybe 10 or percent of that stuff left. Sorry, my eyelashes are just, they're, they're getting on my nerves here. Um, but I've been watching these videos and I've been listening to you know, the stuff about the possible uh, railroad strikes and if the railroads for the most part stop working then the trucks will stop running because at some, because the railroads take the supplies so far and then the trucks take it the rest of the way. Um, now, I don't keep up daily with this stuff. I'm not like engrossed in all of this. Um, but every now and then a video will catch my eye. Or some information will catch my eye. And I don't get it from mainstream media. Because they're not really talk talking about this stuff at all anyways. Um, Um, I get it from just individuals. Oh my gosh. This lash, these lashes, especially on this side, seem like they're really, excuse me, like if they're really, like they didn't curl up. That's why I use the curler. Um, because it will kind of get them off of my, um, I'm using the video to try to curl this up some more. It will kind of get them off of my glasses. I think that's better. Okay. 
Um, oh, so, anyways, my sister is really good. She can can. She knows how to can and all that stuff. I don't. I, I had to look up how to store dried beans. Did you know those things, dried beans can get weevils in them? I didn't know that. Um, and then you have to store them with those little oxygen absorbers packets, like it comes in your shoes and stuff. Um, and, and in airtight containers and whatnot. And, and there's a there's a certain way you have to store this stuff. The only food that I know how to store, because it never goes bad, is honey. Stuff will keep until Jesus comes back. Sorry, my tea went down the wrong pipe a while ago. Um, but they all have some very interesting tips. And I think even if... I mean, people are talking about food shortages and things like that. I don't think in the United States that we'll see a shortage like other countries will if everything that they're saying comes to be. Um, but I did notice, I did go to this, when I went to the store yesterday, um, I did see that things that I could normally get for maybe a dollar ninety nine they're like four dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. Um and I got to looking around at the prices of things while I was in there. And it seems to me that For the most part, what I saw was a doubling in price. And this was at Food Line. It seems like things have doubled in price. Uh, and this is, I, and I just got a few items of things that I needed for next week. For the kids and it cost me literally because I budget things very well for the you know for my daycare I have to and it was double what it normally costs and I am I was just I mean, usually I was ordering online, you know, and I don't, sadly I don't pay enough attention to the price of things when I'm doing that, and maybe that's part of the whole point, you know, you know, that the reason that you can do that now, I don't know, but when you're in the store and you physically can pick up the item, you're paying more attention to how much it costs. <coughs> Especially if you're paying with cash, which I was and not a card. Um, it's easier to kind of ignore that when you're not, when you're using a card, credit card or something. I think. Um, but I was paying with cash, so I was paying very close attention to what everything was costing, and I was like, this is nuts. So there is something going on. Again, I'm not very politically minded, um, and so I got to thinking about some of the videos I've seen and this is way off from the stuff I usually talk about here but I got to thinking about some of the videos I've seen talking about the threat of railroad strikes and then the trucks and then food shortages and because of the lack of rain I guess some places have had um, the not getting things from certain countries anymore like we used to or them increasing the price to bring stuff over here um, 
and I think it's just there's like this kind of perfect storm of of, of things happening. Now, one of the dudes that I watch um, was talking about, and he's this financial wizard, that we are in a recession right now. But Congress doesn't admit that because they've changed the definition of what a recession is. I guess so that they wouldn't have to admit that we're in a recession. And the one video that he put up, now he's not a doomsday person. He is not a, and I'll see if I can get the link to that video and put it, put it here in the description box. He's not one to uh, over-exaggerate whatsoever. So when he was warning us, when he was on there talking about are you depression ready? And I'm like, depression? Um, but then, when I was at the grocery store, I was like, he, he may be on to something. Because even if, even if, <laughs> the food is there, who can afford it? It reminds me of something from the Bible. And don't ask me to quote where it is. I don't know. Um, I remember it more from a song than anything else. <laughs> um, <clears throat> saying that a piece of bread would buy a bag of gold. Think about that. And I know some of my... I may lose subscribers on this, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I'm a Christian. I'm not a I'm not a fanatic. I hate that word. I just you know I believe what I believe. And I'm I am I really to be very honest, I'm more I hate to use the word spiritual than anything else because Christians have gotten a really bad name because some Christians don't act right. <coughs> um but I have my relationship with God. I don't go to church because I've been burned by church goers. Um, but I have, I do have my relationship with God, with Jesus. Um, and I, I believe that there are things that we are going to go through. Um, you know, things are going to get hard. Um, I'm not going to get all into that because I'm not a Bible scholar and to be very honest I don't know what I believe anymore when it comes to end time stuff the rapture, all of that stuff I just don't know anymore I thought I did um, I just don't know <laughs> I would like to think I'm going to be taken out of here, but I just don't know anymore. So please don't come at me. Don't come in my comments acting like you're a Bible scholar and, and you know everything about everything about the end times. Please don't do that here. Um, I, this channel is not to offend anybody. It's not to, to talk. It's not really about all of that. But when I look at stuff that I was taught my whole life and stuff that's happening around me, I'm like, mm, it seems like things are starting to come together. And yes, man, I know people have been saying that since, since the beginning of time. And things that there have always been wars and rumors of wars. I get all that. I get all that. But just these specific things that, that are happening right now. Did you guys know there have been so many world leaders that have resigned recently? That's, that's a whole other thing in itself, I'm sure. I had to go look that up. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't pretend to know, not a political person. I'm not a Bible scholar. 
I just try to look at like reality, what's actually happening, how am I being affected, my corner of the world, me, my little daycare, my sandy girl, where I am, how am I being affected, and I'm being affected, <laughs> um, things are really tough right now at the daycare, I can see the financial strain the daycare parents are having. I can, usually I'm turning parents away. I'm like, I don't have room. I can't do this. I can't, I can't take your, I can't enroll. Now, I'm trying to enroll. Um, I had an interview yesterday, so pray for me that they actually enroll their child. Um, right now, I'm like not even thinking about building the daycare. I'm just thinking about surviving at this point. Honestly, um, I had thought about, you know, a, a little while I thought maybe I should get another job and find something else to do. But you know what? It's not, it's not any more, get out of that. It's not any more stable out there, out there than it is right here. You know, um, get, give me that. No, 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 no. Give me that. Give me that napkin. What are you doing? No. Give, give me, come here. She grabbed it. <laughs> she grabbed the napkin out of the tree. You, no. <sighs> I clean. I clean and I clean and I clean. I clean extra on Friday nights. Um. Mm -hmm. And now she's just gonna rip it up. And she'll come in here on Saturday, and there'll be cotton all over the rug from where she's ripping the stuff that's out of her toys. And now she's grabbed a napkin, something I, you know, something said Rima. I need to put that into the trash bag, the trash can in the kitchen. And she grabbed a napkin out of here. And is just ripping it up. <laughs> Can't blame her. Can't blame her. She's, she's not, she has to be away from me all day, every day, until the kids leave. And then, then we've only got like, hour together. Um, the weekends is our only real time and it's don't even want to get into that because it makes me sad. So it's, it's, and you know, those, those pills are working too because normally I would be so, if, did you eat it? I think she actually ate that. Um, normally I would be so irritated with all that cotton over there that I got to go pick up. <clears throat> that filling, um, but I'm not, <laughs> and, uh, oh, speaking of my medication, you guys feel free to comment, you know, I, I know I'm kind of all over the place when I talk about the prepping thing, because I'm, I'm not up on all of the information, I don't really get real into it, I just know that it can't hurt, <clears throat> whatever comes, or doesn't come. It can't hurt to buy extra if you can when you go to the store. It can't hurt to learn how to can. Um, to figure out what will last a long time. Um, one of the preppers was also saying that Amazon will no longer be selling those Mylar bags. If, unless they're clear or something like that. Um, a lot of people use those <clears throat> for saving food in. Now, why would they stop selling something, excuse me, that people are obviously buying and that helps you save food? See, there's a lot of question marks for me. You guys got the answers? Go ahead, put them in the comments. I would love to know <laughs> the answers to this stuff. But it cannot hurt. I mean, even if nothing ever happens and things get gloriously back to normal, but I think our sense of normal is gone. I really do. I think instead we're having to adjust to life now. 
but again, probably for a whole nother video. <clears throat> or maybe a live discussion if, if you guys are interested. I've never done a live. I'm nervous about doing a live because my biggest fear about doing a live is nobody showing up. How embarrassing would that be? <laughs> Um, especially for the time frames that I would have to do it with. But I really do want to talk about this because even if you think everything is going to be wonderful and peachy keen and all of that, it doesn't hurt to stock up. You know, it doesn't hurt. Really, buy some extra canned stuff. Because even if nothing worldwide happens, even if there's not a shortage of food, even if there are no strikes, even if none of this ever happens, you could personally, and we all have them, have a rainy day, a financial setback, and you're not able to buy groceries for a little while. Well, then you have this extra stuff that you can feed your family with, right? Um, so, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, speaking of my meds, now, at one, I was thinking, I was thinking, last night I thought, I may have to see if she will increase my doses a little, but, then I started thinking about how I went to the store yesterday. Now, I did feel anxious, because it's not often that I'm around other people, but then I thought <laughs> about how I went to the store, literally how I went to the store. It was after daycare hours. I always do that lopsided deal. What the heck is up with that? Anyway, maybe it's the way I'm sitting. But um, I didn't do my makeup. My hair was just up. Um, and honestly, it needed to be washed at that time. And uh, I was in the same clothes that I had worn working yesterday, you know, um, I wasn't wearing anything special, um, I probably had spit up or something on my shirt, I didn't even have socks on, I had on these little footy things that usually I just wear around the house, and, uh, I, while I was kind of, kind of anxious around, <clears throat> because there were other people around, I wasn't I had to stop and think, because like I said, this morning, or last night and this, this morning, I was kind of like, maybe I need to get her just to increase it to 10 milligrams. Then I had to really stop and think about how different do I feel different, how I'm reacting to things. And I do have a lot more patience than I did. Um, when I went to the store yesterday, I didn't seem to be concerned with the way I look. I had things I had to do. I went and did them. Um, and I came home and I wasn't at all concerned with whether I ran into someone I know or... Um, um, also, I'm usually very... Uh, because I pay my rent my rent, according to my lease, gets paid on the last day of the month and not the first. Um, something I actually had to get a lawyer to, uh, so my landlord would stop threatening me when it wasn't paid on the first. So, oh, there's that long eyelash. Anyways, um, and I had to get a money order, or money orders this time, um, instead of sending it from bank transfer the way that I usually do. And um, and he is gone out of town. This is a whole other story. He lives in the garage. We'll talk about that in another video. It's weird. Anyways. Um, Oh, I need to curl this again. Eyelashes seem extra long today. <laughs> that one does. 
Um, and normally I would be all kinds of anxious and, and like, oh my god, he's going to get mad. I'm going to get this long lecture from him on Messenger. And, um, because he went out of town. Because the last time I paid him, um, last year I paid him once by check. And he was all, well, I had to come back from, you know, Carolina early because of the two-day wait for you writing a check. And I'm like, I was thinking at the time, how is that my problem? But I didn't say that to him. You know, he had his rent on time, but he was, as a matter of fact, according to the lease, he had the rent a whole 30 days early. Um, but he was jumping all over me because, according to him, he had to come back early. That, no. Anyway, so normally over having to leave him money orders, I would be kind of frantic, you know, like, oh, he's not going to be happy about this because he's out of town and he's going to not have his money sent via wire, so he's not going to have immediate access to it. And, um, but I don't care. <laughs> now, I'm like, I don't care. The money order is dated even before, because I got it yesterday, so it was dated the 29th. It's three days early. Um, the fact that he went out of town so he doesn't have it is not my problem. So, so my medication, my anti-anxiety stuff, it, it does seem to be taking the edge off me. Now, I remember last week when I did my video, I was really, I felt spacey. I felt pretty foggy. Um, I don't really feel like that today. I, today, I'm... I'm more focused. There's things I want to get done. I'm going to spend a lot of time working on my book. For those that don't know, um, my new book I'm working on, and um, it is um, my first, uh, I, I co-authored a fictional book once um, that is actually not in print anymore. Because, and that was my choice because it was not something I was kind of embarrassed a bit. <laughs> um, there were a lot of uh, it was written in a time in my life when um, there were a lot of sordid scenes in that book that I am just became kind of embarrassed of so, um, it's not in print anymore. So this, this is my first, um, fictional book, and it's going to be a series. It's a young adult series. I mean, it's called Arabella's Beads. Um, and it is absolutely, I think it's a cute story. It's, I think it's adorable, but that's just me because I'm writing it. And I need to, it's about halfway finished, and I need to spend more time on it. Um, and the weekend is my best time to do that, so I'm going to spend probably a, a couple of hours on it today. See if I can knock out, you know, two or three chapters. Um, and let's see, the other thing I want to work on is, I haven't done a painting in a while, but I haven't really felt a muse for a painting. The other thing I did do, and I will put those, I will, I'm going to put my link tree link here as well in the, the, the description. I'll start adding that to my description. Because in that link tree, you'll see links to where you can buy journals um, and that I've created. And on the cover, I mean, it's just your basic journal, but the covers are, feature my artwork, my paintings. And I really, I think the sunflower one is my favorite one. They're really, I think they're really pretty. And uh, uh, it's, it, I think I'm going to do that with probably most of my paintings now. Is uh, create journals with them. I think they're, I think they're really cute. Or, or pretty, you know, charming, whatever. Anyways, check out the link tree. Link and go, go look at the journals. Um, I think they make really cute gifts really, really nice gifts. 
Um, let's see. I guess that's about all I wanted to talk about. You know, I, I also want to work on my sins. Um, I'm getting this, and maybe it's because of the prepping videos I've been watching, but I have this urge to, to build a homestead <laughs> in my sims. I'm still working on my Johnny Depp sim character and my own. Of course, I moved my sim self in to the same in next door to my Johnny Depp sim. But you know what? Even though they, even though my sim and the Johnny Depp sim live next door in the sim world, they still haven't met. Go figure that one. He's as inaccessible to me in my Sims as he is in real life. <laughs> Messed up, man. Messed up. <laughs> uh, but this girl, uh, I I asked her to. You know, she she created this wonderful house of a uh, Johnny Depp's. A replica, not an exact because you're, you're limited in The Sims, but a really good replica of his house in L.A., the castle house. And she did it really quick, too. And um, I don't have that in the game yet because there's some there's some expansion packs that she used. And so I, I don't want to put it out yet until, until I'm able to get those expansion packs because if you do that, stuff will come up missing. Speaking of The Sims 4 real quick, if you play Sims 4, you may or may not know this. There was a recent patch yesterday that came out that apparently, and I have not opened my Sims game since that patch came out, and I may wait because there's an emergency patch coming out to fix that, the recent patch, um, where your Sims are randomly aging your pets and everything and then dying. So if you play Sims 4, you may already know about this. If you have not downloaded that patch, wait. If you have, watch for the emergency patch that really should be out any time if it's not already. I haven't opened it up to see. I'm scared to play it until that emergency patch comes out. You know, I feel bad for people that... Uh, have been working a long time on their sims and then for that to happen. But of course, they don't have to save it. If you don't save it, you, then you can revert back to you know, where where it was. So that's just an odd thing to happen. Like I said, I'm not a gamer, um, you know, unless you count Sims 4. But it, I, I don't, it's not like other games, not like the Sea of Dawn game. <laughs> um, so, anyways, that's it, and that's a wrap. It's a really long video today. I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you uh, had your tea and sitting and just listening to me and talking with me or listening to me talk, whatever. Let me not spend ten minutes saying goodbye. <laughs> All right. I never know how to end these things. God bless. You guys take care. Please let me know. You